Good morning, intro to business students. How are you? This is Mr. Argetto coming to you in week number four. Um, here we are uh, halfway through our semester and just kind of getting everything rolling. You guys are knocking out chapters 11 and 12 this week and doing a marketing strategy, which is awesome. We're going to be hitting up marketing, that perspective of business. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to drink a little coffee here. Today's brand is actually just a basic Starbucks, so nothing nothing fancy. None of your caramel macchiatos that some of you are drinking out there and frappuccinos and custom-made coffee. Uh, anyhow, marketing strategy. Talking about marketing, let's talk about what is it exactly that people do to get attention to a business. Like... Uh, I, I've ran a couple of businesses in my lifetime and I had our, our own golf company at one point prior to this experience as a teacher. Uh, I, we ma uh, manufactured golf clubs and would sell golf clubs and then eventually we developed into what would be considered a distributor of golf equipment. Uh, but we had a marketing strategy and without uh, boring you guys to death, basically marketing is getting attention to your product. Now, a lot of people who want to start their own business have come up to me in the past and said, oh, I want to start my own business, a bakery or a, a, a taco shop or something. And one of the questions I always ask is what is your strategy on getting people to come to you? Now, people, I don't know why people have this experience or mindset that they're going to open up something and someone's going to show up randomly. Well, that might happen, but that doesn't guarantee success. So marketing is about getting the people uh, uh, attuned to you, uh, know that you exist, understand that you're there and get to you. Now, when we talk about marketing, we're talking about strategy because it's not just about like, hey, I'm here. Like you can grab a shotgun and shoot a bird, but what's going to happen? All those little pellets are going to shoot everywhere and destroy the bird. Well, marketing is very similar to that. You can have a very shotgun approach to marketing and just make a lot of noise and people know you're there. That doesn't mean they're customers. Or you can have a very specific a very targeted marketing approach, which means you're going to look for the customer that best represents someone going to your shop or location or business, and and that's who you're going to target. So you're going to look for, if I'm selling tacos, I'm going to look for people who love uh, Spanish food or love uh, uh, tacos or something in that area. I'm not going to go to someone that doesn't like that and waste money on marketing to them. I'm not just going to pass out flyers from house to house. That might not be the best approach because maybe 99 of my 100 flyers are going to go to waste. Uh, that's a, a, you know, I want to target market. I want to market the people who maybe eat tacos or, or like tacos or have something in common uh, with that. And most people that do things, and you'll you'll learn this on in your further as you study through this program and to your bachelor's in consumer behavior. Uh, consumers behave similar in similar fashions, and in marketing, we try to find what are those similarities so we can target those customers. So anyhow, this is a fun video because it takes me back to my childhood in the 90s. Chicago had a commercial that was ridiculous, ridiculous. It's called Ego Man. So you're going to get to watch that commercial and you're going to tell me, do you think this type of marketing works? And, and most importantly, I want you to pick out a company or create a company and tell me how you would target market your audience. Don't tell me you're just going to put it on Facebook. That, that, that doesn't work. It has to be very specific, very, very very um, direct to the person that you want. Anyhow, so that's going to be a fun week uh, for some of you who are studying marketing. This will be right up your wheelhouse. Uh, for the rest of you, it'll, it'll give you an idea of why you get mail that you do. Now, don't think that people, they just send out hundreds of thousands. Of, no, you're getting mail specifically because you did something at some point that triggered someone say, hey, this person might 
buy this product. So um, take a look at that and take a look at your mail and tell me if there's something there. And I, I don't even want to start with what happens with your phones and listening to your conversations so they can data mine and find and target things that you've spoken or searched and put it on like Facebook or Twitter or somewhere to advertise to you. This is targeted marketing. It's not just like, oh, here's a bunch of advertisement. No, start talking about a specific product or a specific topic and you'll see how or put a search, Google search something, you'll see how they'll begin to target you on that product. All right, guys, other than that, uh, registration has been hectic, crazy. A lot of you guys got on and registered. Uh, we are starting to slow down, which is good. I'm not having as many students throughout the day. Uh, it's cold. It's cold outside. Uh, as you know, I came from Chicago, so I should be used to this cold weather, but I'm not anymore. I, I just don't like it. It just hurts me. Um, I've been uh, I've been just kind of, uh, you know, working throughout the house here, doing some projects that I have to do, uh, but uh, just trying to stay warm because it's, it's too cold out there. We might have to spark up the fireplace and get something going. Besides that, guys, I hope you're drinking a lot of coffee. I hope you're enjoying your week. Uh, let me know if there's anything I can do. Guess what? Today is election day. So if you have not yet gone to vote, do so. It's so important for you to be a part of this process. Uh, as they say, and I know it's cliche, but your your vote is your voice. Uh, I believe that wholeheartedly. Uh, I will tell you that I don't get involved in you making that decision. You vote your convictions, vote your, your heart, vote whatever you want to vote. Uh, just vote. I think it's important for us to vote and participate. All right, guys, uh, I think that should cover it. If you need me, you know how to get a hold of me. If not, till next week.